but he just reaches up and grabs the handle of his weapon. I know that I have a problem. Now I could just as easily begin to draw from my weapon, and as we holster, unholster our weapons and we begin to draw, we're now in a point shooting situation, and more than likely we're both gonna shoot each other. Now we're gonna go back to holstering our weapons. The concept behind all this modular fighting, before I actually teach you how to do it, is I'm gonna show you the reason that we do it. So now we're in a potential gunfight. Chad starts to draw his weapon. As he does that, I wanna make fewer decisions. I wanna box everything down into just one or two decisions. So what we're going to do is, as he draws for that weapon, I'm gonna actually beat Chad to the punch. So I didn't tell you what I was about to do. Chad didn't know what I was about to do, but this is the concept of modular fighting. I don't wanna draw the weapon. I'm actually gonna beat him to the punch and do damage. Now, a slap on the shoulder is not gonna stop a gunfight. So we're going to get into the type of strikes that will stop a gunfight, uh, do potential lethal damage to Chad with just in one or two strikes. If you liked this, click on the link in the bio.